Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Thanks for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Happy 2019. Last time I chatted with you was in 2018 and I shared with you a tip that had to do with the quick calculator. And we're going to start off 2019 by talking, by finishing off the quick calculator because I did leave you with a bit of a cliffhanger. Oh my gosh, I don't know how you made it through to the new year. <laughs> so, <laughs> I talked to you also about the fact that the quick calculator is right there inside of AutoCAD, easy to get to, and it does more than just add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna take a look at today. The quick calculator is super easy to get to. All right, you can get to it from the home tab on the ribbon. There it is right there, hanging out right there, the quick calculator. You can also get to it by doing a right click anywhere on the screen, and there's quick calculator, uh, or if I convinced you that it was such an amazing tool, perhaps you even decided to dock it as an ever popular palette. I happen to have mine sitting right there, so it's ready to go whenever I need to do some type of numerical challenge. So we took a look last time at the number pad. Let me close these up so you're not distracted. We took a look at the number pad. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. No surprise, we took a look at these tools up here as well. Very, very handy tools. If you missed it, go back and look at my last tip. Um, but it's much more than that. All right, what if, what if you need to do some trig? What if you need to do some logarithms? Here you go, you can find out the sine, cosine of an angle. Uh, you can convert radians to degrees. I know you're probably having a heart attack right now going, no, I hated math, make it go away. Some of you anyway. Uh, you can find out the absolute value. I think you could figure that out on your own. I don't think you need a calculator for that. But anyway, some very cool tools here. Uh, I actually love the unit conversion because let's face it, so often, you know, maybe you're big into feet and inches, imperial, and you're working with someone else who's into metrics. I know it's, you've been there. Did you know that the quick calculator is gonna make your life so much easier if that's the case? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna draw a circle. And I'm gonna go, uh, now wait a minute, now the diameter of that circle, um, I need that to be in, um, I need that to be in metric, and I work in feet and inches. Oh no, has that happened? Of course, a million times. So let's go check that out. Let's go into the calculator. Let's let it do the work for us. I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna say it's under length. I, I'm making a length. I wanna convert it from, I would like to convert that from feet, over to, how about over two meters? How about that? Ever run into that? You can do whatever you want. You can convert it from inches over to millimeters, whatever you want. And I want to convert, I think it, in my, I was gonna do 11 feet, so let's convert that. We'll go ahead and ask it what that value is. There's the value. I'm going to pass it up here. I, need to, I needed to get it up here so it can be used as useful information so that it's a viable number. And then here's the magic right here. Here's the option right there. Paste the value to the command line. I don't want to type that number in. I'm very lazy. I'm going to click on there. It passed that information over to the command line. And now I can just hit an enter. And there is my circle. And now I'm very, very happy. I didn't have to do any calculations. Didn't have to figure anything out. It did it for me. I love that. Oh, yeah. All right. So it will do that for me. It'll do conversions. Let's look at that in a little more detail. Uh, I was doing length, but you could also, you could do um, areas. So you could do square meters, you can convert it over. Let's look at, we, we, I think we have like um, yards in here that we can do acres, crazy talk. What else have we got? We've got volume, we've got angles, lots of options in there. So don't forget that, let it do the work for you. Computers are great at math, right? That's how we started using them to begin with. All right, what else have we got? Variables. Hmm. So this one is interesting. I will say that in the early days of the calculator, this is what used to be one of the most useful sections. Uh, these are pre-set up some sample variables. Um, you'll see in here, here's the, uh, the distance between two endpoints. There's a variety variety of them in here, the radius function. Um, the one that was the most valuable really was this uh, midpoint between two endpoints. But now we actually have that as an object stamp, so I'm, I'm really not finding it that valuable. You can make your own custom variables. There's a, a way of doing that. That's like a whole nother tip for another day, and boy, there might have to be alcohol involved for that. <laughs> or, or Tylenol. Take your, your drug of choice, whatever. It's pretty complicated. Uh, but nevertheless, there's a lot of power in here. Uh, so you can create your own custom variables that you can use at any point you, that you want during an expression uh, while you're drawing. So that's something for you to think about. All right, so there's a lot more 
to the quick calculator that meets the eye. So hopefully you saw something else in here that will be of value to you and that this was a good tip to kick off 2019. I'm gonna be back here in a couple more weeks and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful year and I hope to join you for all of it.